Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part 13 of my Android development tutorial series. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up the main activity as well as the new contact activities, of course, to make our address book. And if you haven't seen the previous parts of this tutorial, definitely check those out. I provide a link in the upper right hand corner, specifically look for address book. And I have a lot to do, so let's get into it. Okay, so here we are in Eclipse with all of the things that we have created previously. So we have activity main.xml, which is going to define the interface for us. Inside of activity main, as you can see, if we scroll down inside of here, you're going to see a list view, and all the data that's going to go in that list view is going to be based off of contact entry.xml, and this is going to be a text view that is going to have the contact ID, but it's not going to be visible, just going to be there so we can look up information. We're then going to have the last name inside of here. I changed this from the last tutorial. Previously, we just had first names listed, and now we are going to have last names and then first names listed. And of course, everything is going to be in alphabetical order because I made one other little change inside of DB Tools, which we created in the last part of the tutorial. And if you see inside of DB Tools down inside of here, inside of get all contacts and all the code in this tutorial is going to be available on a link underneath the video so you can get all that but you can see right here i changed this query so that order by last name would be used so those are the things that have changed and if we click over to graphical layout for activity main.xml you can see this is what it's going to look like and our job in this part of the tutorial is to make this work so what we're going to do is we're going to jump into mainactivity.java, which is going to use activitymain.xml as the interface and to make that interface operate. So we're going to come in here and package com.newthinktank.contacts app, and then we are going to just start defining it. So this is a activity called main activity because it is the first activity that loads. And of course, we're going to have to come in here and say extends. In this situation, it's going to be list activity because that is basically all it is going to be and if we jump over into here activity main you're going to see that this is a list view and that's basically all you're going to really see inside of that put our braces inside of here of course we're going to have to come in and get our different libraries that we're going to want to use so we just come in here and import those and then we're going to define a couple things well we're going to need an intent inside here and as i mentioned before an intent is used to issue a certain operation or to say that an operation should be performed it has the intention of doing something okay and commonly that intention is going to be to start another activity another thing we're going to need is a text view which is going to be the contact id and all of this stuff is going to be coming out of activity main.xml so if we look for text view and then the list view which is actually contact entry.xml and we scroll up you're going to see contact id this is the text view specifically that we're going to be trying to pull information from in mainactivity.java and i'll grab these libraries real quickly now of course we're going to be doing a lot of things with our database so i'm going to be referencing my db tools class and i'm just going to call it db tools new db tools and pass in this and then we're going to create the onCreate method. It's going to be protected. It's not going to return anything. onCreate, pass in bundle, saved, instance, state. And that is just going to be any data that's going to be saved when an activity would be shut down or the screen will be rotated, all the information that we might want in that situation so that we don't lose it if we need it later on. And then we're going to go super, onCreate, saved, instance state and once again just use to get saved data if there is any then we have to come in here and go set content view and what we're going to be doing with this is to designate that activity main.xml is the interface used with this specific activity so just go r layout dot activity main and of course that's this guy up here that i keep referencing over and over again just want to make sure you understand everything then we're going to create an array list and this is going to get all the data from the database and store it in this array list that we have here and it's going to contain a hash map which is going to be made up of two strings which are key value pairs i'm going to call this contact list and then to get it i'm going to go db tools which we created last time get all contacts and there we are and i'm going to get rid of this because i don't think i need it right now anyway get all these libraries and keep on going here and then i want to check 
to make sure there are contacts that I would be able to display in this situation. So I'm going to go contact list dot size and check that it's not equal to zero. And then I'm going to get my list view equal to get list view. And this is going to both get me a list view and also assign a handler to it. And I do that by going list view dot set on item click listener. And this is going to be triggered anytime any item in the list view is clicked on. I'm going to say on item click listener curly bracket jump down there put a semicolon I'm going to come in here grab this specific library come in here and add unimplemented methods as well which is going to be on item click get rid of all this random garbage and then I'm going to say contact ID I'm going to initialize this text view and go view dot find view by ID and then pass inside of it r dot ID dot contact ID which very nicely comes up right there. And this throws a little bit of an error. I'm going to come up here and change this to view, and that error goes away. Then what I'm going to do is convert the data that's in contact ID into a string, and I'm going to call this contact value, or contact ID value. Makes a little bit more sense. And I'm just going to go contact ID dot get text to get that data out of the text view. And then, of course, I have to go to string, and there we go. Very easy. And then I'm going to create an intent again. Again, it's going to be the intention to do something. And I'm going to go new intent and call get application like that. And what get application is going to do is return the application that owns this activity. And then I'm going to call edit contact. And I'm going to cover edit contact in the last part of the tutorial, which is going to come up next. And that's going to provide you the option to edit your contacts or delete them as well. Then I'm going to go the intent put extra if I want to put or send extra information being the contact ID whenever this activity is called this is how you do it contact ID value so it's like a way of sneaking in some information and change this to intent not indent and then if I want to start that activity that I just defined I just go the intent and that's going to start it up for me so anytime an item is clicked on in the list view it is going to call edit contact that class and pass it the contact ID that was specifically clicked on then it's going to open up all of the information from that specific contact ID on the screen and allow you to edit it once again I'm going to cover that in the next part of the tutorial now after that is all set up I'm going to create a list adapter and what a list adapter is, is it's used to bridge between a list view as well as the list views data. And I'm just going to call this list adapter is equal to new simple adapter. And what simple adapter is going to do is connect the data in the array list that we created previously to the XML file. And I'm just going to skip down to the next line here. And this guy is going to get passed a couple different things. It's going to be passed in a context, what is known as a context, which is going to provide information that is going to be needed about the application that we're currently using. And to do that, and just go this to pass that along. Then we need to pass in our array list. Remember, it's going to, or simple adapter is going to connect our array list to the XML file. Well, the array list is called contact list. And then we're going to follow that up with the XML resource. And that's going to be layout contact entry and then finally we're going to have the names of the data in string format and then their specific resource IDs as well so for this I'm going to go new create a string array brackets and then we're going to have contact ID and then we're going to have last name and then finally we'll have first name close that curly bracket and then come down here and go new int an int array and it's going to have the resource itself so it's going to be ID contact ID r.id last name r.id first name and close that off so that was kind of a long one and then finally we're going to call set list adapter and don't try to memorize all this stuff just use the code that I provide as a cheat sheet and what set list adapter is going to do is provide the cursor for the list view and once again the cursor is just going to provide access to the database data and then the final thing we're going to do if we jump over here again to activity main.xml click on that and then we look for a button. Well, you're going to see here that on click, we're supposed to have a method inside of here called show add contact. So we're going to have to create that method so it can handle that event. And we can do that inside of here. We're just going to go public void show add contact view 
view, create another intent, the intent is equal to new intent, and here we'll go get application, which once again is going to return the application that owns this activity, and then we're going to say new contact class, because our intention is to call that class and have it handle everything. And now that we've defined everything that we need, we can start that activity by passing the intent. And there's a little line under this, don't worry about it, that's just because I haven't set everything up. And that is all we're going to need for main activity. So now let's jump over and create new contact.java. And this guy is right here. This is the interface that we're going to write all the code so the interface actually works. And this is going to provide us with the opportunity to add contacts to our database. And new contact.java is going to be the file that's going to provide us that capability gonna jump over and grab this so I'm to retype it and then we're just gonna go public class new contact extends it's an activity of course go get our libraries and we're going to need to get a lot of information from this interface we're gonna need these editable text fields that one that one that one that one and that one so we're gonna come in here and show that we do need those so we're gonna say edit text first name we're also gonna have last name phone number, email address, and then home address. And all that information, of course, is coming from this. If we come in here and look at this in a text view, you can see if we scroll down, there is first name and the ID, and this is the editable text area. So that's where that all is coming from. And then, since we're gonna be working with a database, guess what? That means we're gonna need our database tools, DB tools is equal to new, DB tools, and I hope you'll be able to use this class over and over in your own applications. Saved instance state, again, this is going to save any values that we'd like to save if the activity was closed ahead of time. And we're gonna be doing pretty much the same thing here that we did over here, so we might as well just save ourselves some time. Get this thing and get this thing, copy it, paste it inside of there, except we're gonna have to change something. This, instead of activity main, is gonna be add new contact. And of course, that name comes from addNewContact.xml right there. Then I just need to initialize all my edit text objects. And to do that, I'm going to go first name is equal to convert this or cast it to an edit text object. And we're going to say find view by ID. And it's going to be r.id.first name, right like that. And then I'm going to copy this one, two, three, four. And we're going to do the same thing for last name. Do the same thing for phone number and phone number. Do the same thing for email address and email address. And then finally the same thing for home address. Okay, now that we have those initialized, basically all we're going to need to do, except for the fact that add new contact also has a button inside of it. Where is that button? Way at the bottom. And that button is add new contact. Or whenever this button's clicked on, a method called add new contact needs to be executed. So jump back inside of here, create that method. I'm going to say public void add new contact and view is passed inside of there. Go and get this, import that library. And then we're going to have a hash map inside of it, of course, string. And I'm going to call this query values map. And it's going to be equal to new and then the same exact thing again. Paste that there, da 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 da. There we are. Then we just need to get the values from our editable text boxes. So we're going to go query values map, paste that in there. Or I mean, we're going to put the values into this hash map, I meant to say. So we're going to put in first name. That's going to be our key for our map. And then we're going to put in our value. And to get that, we say first name dot get text. And this is from the editable text object, convert it into a string, and there we go. Let's go and copy this. And then of course, we're gonna create another one for last name, and then just change this into last name. And then we're gonna have another one for phone number, and phone number, and email address, and email address, and finally home address, and home address. And now that we have all of that information saved inside of that map, I'm gonna call DB Tools. And I'm going to insert my new contact information into the database by passing over query values map. And that's going to insert it in the database. So that's how we add a new contact. But we're not quite done yet. Because then after that is done, I'm going to send them back to the main activity. And they're going to see that it was entered in. And I'm just going to call this call main activity. Pass in a view. And that means I'm going to have to create call main activity. 
piece of cake, public void, call main activity, it's going to be past the view, and feel free to leave any questions that you might have. Got that there. Again, to do this, we need to create an intent. It's the same sort of stuff over and over again. Once you get used to it, it actually becomes pretty easy, even though it's weird in the beginning. Intent, get application, main activity class is the class that we want to open or call for. And then to start it, start activity. Pretty neat stuff. So there you go. We are almost done with our address book. In the next part of the tutorial, it will be finished. Please leave any questions or comments below. Otherwise, till next time.